Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Thursday. This is a day that the Lord has made. We're rejoicing. We're glad in it. Oh, we're going to have a wonderful day here in the 757. Temperatures are going up a little bit every day, a little bit at a time. We're in the balmy 40s this morning. Okay, balmy. I used to think that was really cold, but when you compare it to temperatures that we've had in the 30s and the 20s, oh man, this feels really warm this morning. We're wrapped up. And if you can get your walk on with me, Gigi, get it on. If you can get outside and breathe in this fresh air, it's a beautiful morning. But if it's too cold, do it inside. Uh, that's like my friend uh, in Alaska, Heather, no, don't go out there in negative 45 degrees. But anyway, good morning. I want to give a shout out to a special group of people that I had the privilege to work with for over 23 years, and that are school counselors. Happy school counselors week, guidance counselors in our schools. Oh my goodness. I'm going to say it like my colleague Lydia uh, used to say, you rock. Oh my goodness. So all of my retired colleagues and active colleagues in Norfolk Public Schools and Chesapeake Public Schools and counselors everywhere, you know what? We do an awesome job because we, we love our children and care for our children as you know they go through difficult situations helping them with their academics so again happy counselors week okay so you know we're getting ready to celebrate valentine's day you know that is the time of love and you know uh, <clears throat> there's three major types of love one we call eros love that's that um, steamy love between a man and a woman and then um we, we have filial love, which is brotherly love. Um, the, the city of Philadelphia is a city of brotherly love. That's where they get it from, filial's love. And then we have agape love, of course. That's the love of Christ that loves in spite of. And uh, although that agape love is the greatest, I'll take any of that love. We need all of that um, love. You know, um, <clears throat> I was reading in the Daily Bread today, wonderful lesson, and their title is God's Great um, Love Cycle. And the scripture they was coming from just grabbed my attention this morning. It says, let no debt remain outstanding except the continuing debt to love one another. I believe the King James Version says, Oh no man anything except that to love them. You know, I was thinking about a pastor that I heard one time. His name Pastor Michael Freeman up in the Washington DC, Maryland area. And he said, you know, it's a blessing. Um, I have no debt. Our house is paid off. Um, our car notes, our children's education, even their church was paid off. He said, the only thing I wish that I could come up with a plan was to, is to be able to pay the utility bills, you know, the light bill and the water bill, because, you know, that's always coming. You always have to pay that. But uh, that's one bill that we cannot stop paying. And my gym nugget today is... Uh, Never pay off your love bill. Uh-oh. Never pay off your love bill. You know, Dion Warwick sung, sings a song, and she sung a song, a uh, well-known song. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. That's the only thing that there's too little of. And you know, when you think about all the horrendous of uh, violence and crimes. And I don't like to talk about a lot of the things that's going on, like the school shootings and all of that. But there's one incident that has occurred recently that I just can't wrap my head around. And I'm not blaming it on mental illness or anything like that, but I'm blaming it on a lack of love. Uh, there was a, 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 a man that decapitated his father. Decapitate means that he cut his father's head off because they say, and it's gotta be more to this, 
that um, he had a hatred for the government and that um, his father was a federal government worker and for whatever reason this is what they said the argument escalated and he got angry and decapitated his father oh my goodness what in the world I, you know to commit a crime against somebody that you uh, uh, but someone your father your parent your 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 your, your blood and you going to do that that is not love that is not love and 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 you know the enemy as we always said to kill steal and destroy we need more love he hates love he hates love and you know as it says and you know every time you know Gail, you're always talking about love and stuff like that and you might say oh yeah all y'all you want to talk about you know the violins and things playing but it's a deeper thing this love thing is deeper because it even says if we keep that one commandment we have covered it all because it continues here in romans 13 after it says uh you know pay your love bill um the commandments you should not commit adultery you should not murder you should not steal you should not commit adultery you should not steal you should not covet and whatever other command there may be are summed up in this one command love your neighbor as yourself love does no harm to his neighbor you cannot do harm if you have love, that true love, that agape love, and even the brotherly love and eros love, if you truly love, therefore love is the fulfillment of the law. If you have love, how in the world can you murder someone? How in the world can you commit adultery against your, uh, uh, your husband or your wife? How can you have true love and steal from them? How can you have true love and covet and want the things that they have by any means necessary? That is not love. We need to get this love down into our hearts and we would see a, a, a reduction. With more love, we would see more reduction of these crimes. That's all it's all about. It's love. Dion Warwick is right. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. So just like it says here, let no debt. Now you pay your other bills <laughs> in, you know, in this life, you know, because if you don't pay that water bill, that electric bill, they're going to cut it off. But one bill that you cannot stop paying is your love bill is your love bill y'all keep that in mind never pay off your love bill yeah i want to pay off some other bills too like pastor freeman but that's one bill don't pay that off do not pay off your love bill well let me remind you first thing subscribe to this gym nugget channel uh, our friend Amila from Sweden, she left another comment. She said, I love this channel. I love watching this channel and you all share. And she said, this is such a good channel. Thank you for that compliment, um, Namila from Sweden. Oh my goodness. But join my husband tonight for life study. You know what life study is. We, we, he's going to give us a word to not only just study, but apply it to every day life every word in the word of god we need to apply to our every day life so join him at 7 p.m um on this evening oh my goodness and tell your friends um subscribe to the gym nugget channel um and share you know when we come in you can even share uh, these episodes um, as we come on, and we certainly do appreciate um, you watching. But don't forget, my gym nugget today. Never pay off your love bill. Don't pay it off. That's one you don't have to pay. I, I want to pay off all the rest of them. But never pay off that love bill. You be blessed. Bye-bye.